Yo, I'm Dr. Cool. A moment ago, uh, a Nigerian lady just invented a holographic smartphone that cooked the entire smartphone big industry. We're you talking Samsung, Xiaomi, Motorola, LG, Realme, OnePlus, Blue, Sony, Nokia, Apple, Huawei, and every United Nations of smartphone tech industries you ever know, yes, without a billion lab research facilities. Before we get into that groundbreaking invention, let's rewind the clock back to understand why there are loads of inventors bursting of different African nations, popping it like it's not a damn thing. We talking groundbreaking inventions that is mean, brutally aggressively destroying Western industries as if they had unsettled dispute long before Adams. Before this day lies a civilization whose technologies is just mind-bending compared to what we have today that are just slave chain technologies. This civilization got buried alive with their technologies, however the monumental structures they built remains a hunting masterpiece and evidence that gets everyone asking the most uncomfortable questions. This civilization holds the key to unravel the mystery behind the self-powered technology of Maxwell Chikumbutso and many others we will be covering in this video today, including the simless phone invention by African teens. Yes, why Africans? Why teens like Tabizo's water-powered car? Some uncomfortable truth about black civilization that changed the narrative about African supreme over every other race on earth that was hidden and erased from history books such as the Moors who built the great Egyptian pyramid. This fact is so obvious, but it was deliberately hidden to make you forget whom you are. Your great ancestors taught the Western world everything they boast of today. This ancestors of yours speaks in codex languages that translate to technologies of colossal magnitude of unprecedented epitome so hard to understood by West. They West calls it mystery, and that's where your chemistry name originated. However, being great in harmony with nature and coexist with one another is what created envy that gave birth to atrocities we will be uncovering in this video. The great reset you heard wasn't about humanity in total in my critical analysis, but against a certain race. Your ancestors have sophisticated technologies buried alive by mud flood unexplained hiding from you. We can live with that. But however, such our story, not his story. Vanished from our history books is questionable as that act is human made. If the history wasn't erased, such could be understood to be naturally disaster. However, for the fact that every institution of learning and our movie blockbuster never wrote any script about it proved some groups of people crafted the erasure of this greatest human civilization not even the daily science show tv program hint about it however the colossal evidence of it footprint echoes this civilization is called it tartaria why is this erased civilization that once was critical in 2025 the new african uprising bizarre invention that is 6000 years ahead of its time is not a coincidence but could be a reincarnation of the moors the tartarians the west are quick to level tartarian a hoax pseudo history a myths or conspiracy theories however we know that handwriting don't we the tartarian building structures made of mables that are now turned into churches is perfect misdirection as they have cross on the dome-shaped building however the free energy harnessing is making a comeback in maxwell chikumbutso this holographic smartphone from an inventor from nigerian lady that cooked western smartphone industries is groundbreaking as it literally makes samsung iPhone who positioned themselves as big technology giants look like gimmicks with one common goal, a product that is built to exploit users, hands over your privacy data due to cooperation, take a look at Samsung with all it praises, with fake LCD screen that is designed to fail, same goes with iPhone, it doesn't even need to drop off your hand before you start seeing ink bleeding all over the place or lines that offsets your mood then keep you buying another as the screen cost will be enough to buy you another used with extra change. Same goes with Google Pixels. Now imaging a smartphone without LCD screen, however, with features that look like something pulled out of science fiction movies, this is mind-bending technology emerging from scrap electronics yard workshop. Not even a laboratory or research facilities. Tartarian destruction was no mere accident of time or conquest. It was a deliberate, carefully calculated erasure. A cataclysm human-made, and we will shade light on those behind it in next video. It's anything but natural disaster, perhaps man-made maybe, struck this global civilization buried underground. Some of it building was discovered and still in existence today. Some have another building structures on it, while some were destroyed on 2023 to get rid of this uncomfortable questions about what happened to Tartarian. Mud floods, energy weapons, a shift in the very fabric of our world, the theories are many. What followed was an even greater tragedy, the systematic suppression of its memory. For centuries its cities, its knowledge, its very existence were buried, not just under earth and rubble, but under layers of disinformation and denial. Why? 
because Tartaria held secrets that could empower humanity, secrets that threatened the control of a select few. The remnants of Tartaria are all around us, hidden in plain sight. Grandiose buildings with buried lower floors, star forts of impossible geometric precision, and tales of giants and advanced technologies dismissed as myth. These were not primitive people. They were master builders, engineers, and perhaps wielders of energies we are only now beginning to comprehend. The scale of their civilization dwarfed what conventional history tells us was possible for the era. Their reach was global, their understanding profound. The silence surrounding Tartaria is deafening, a testament to the thoroughness of those who sought to keep us in the dark, to sever us from our true magnificent past. But the past, as we are about to see, has a powerful way of reasserting itself, often in the most unexpected of places. The year 2025 will forever be etched in the annals of true history. It was the year the Tartarian map, long suppressed, finally broke free into public consciousness. This was no mere cartographical curiosity. It was a bombshell. The map, meticulously detailed and shockingly accurate in ways modern maps are not, depicted a world vastly different from the one taught in schools. It showed land bridges where now there are vast oceans. It revealed interconnected continents a Pangaea-like configuration that made global travel by foot or by rudimentary vehicle not just possible but plausible. The implications were staggering, shattering long-held beliefs about ancient migrations and global connectivity. Suddenly, the idea of a worldwide Tartarian empire seemed not only feasible but almost self-evident. The map showed clear land routes, connecting what we now know as Asia, the Americas, Europe and even Australia. Africa, too, was not an isolated landmass, but an integral part of this global network. This ancient chart suggested that our ancestors could traverse the globe without the need for transoceanic voyages as we understand them. The flight paths we rely on today, dictated by vast stretches of water, became almost irrelevant in the face of this older, more connected Earth. This was a world united by land, a world ripe for a unified civilization. Dot, as a matter of fact, several Indians in Pakistan used the guardians of this map to walk from Bangladesh to USA. A video footage clip here explains better. Watch it, but I will be right back. That's fascinating, isn't it? You heard the American woman asking questions about where their flight landed. However, they answered, we walked not flight. The map didn't just redraw geography, it redrew history. What was the nature of Tartarian technology? Whispers speak of atmospheric energy harvesting, of sound and light being used for construction and healing, of technologies that worked in harmony with the earth rather than against it. This wasn't the brute force industrialism we know today. It was something more refined, more elegant, perhaps even more powerful. The destruction of Tartaria was not just the fall of an empire, it was the deliberate suppression of this advanced understanding. For centuries, this knowledge lay dormant, fragmented, dismissed as alchemy or magic. But seeds of this ancient wisdom survived, scattered across the globe, waiting for fertile ground to sprout anew. Imagine a mobile phone that never needs charging. A device that draws its power directly from the ambient energy around us, from the very air we breathe. This is not science fiction, this is the reality of the Maxwell self-powered phone. An invention emerging from the heart of Africa, poised to revolutionize communication and energy consumption globally. Its creator, an unassuming genius, claims to have tapped into principles of energy generation that defy conventional physics, or at least the physics taught in mainstream institutions. The device is sleek, functional, and most importantly, perpetually powered. This breakthrough challenges the entire multi-billion dollar industry built around batteries and charging infrastructure. The implications are immense, especially for Africa itself. Vast swathes of the continent lack reliable electricity grids. The Maxwell phone bypasses this limitation entirely. Tabizo's torrent driving on water, defying convention. From South Africa comes another technological marvel that defies belief and challenges the dominance of fossil fuels. Tabiso's water-powered car. Yes, you heard that correctly. A vehicle that runs purely on water, emitting only harmless vapor. Tabiso, its visionary inventor, has developed a process that efficiently splits water into hydrogen and oxygen on demand using a novel catalyst and a minimal energy input purportedly less than the energy released by the subsequent combustion of hydrogen. This isn't the bulky, inefficient hydrogen fuel cell technology we've seen before. This is something far more advanced, compact and revolutionary. The global implications are almost too vast to comprehend. 
Imagine a world where transportation is fueled by the most abundant substance on Earth, an end to oil wars, a drastic reduction in air pollution, a complete decentralization of energy for vehicles. Tabiso's invention could transform our cities, our economies and our planet. The technology is said to be scalable, potentially uh, applicable not just to cars, but to trucks, buses, trains and even ships. Petit Mbiria's retrofitting of EFI system into old models cars to function better than new. Why does it matter? New cars are made with money milking in mind. It doesn't last longer than politicians' empty promises. Old cars are built like tank. Endurance and durability is their genetic name. We are not forgotten. The other two friends from Kenya solving prosthetics reimagined AI at fraction cost. Lives rebuilt. In Kenya, this two genius is revolutionizing the field of prosthetics, offering new hope and capabilities to amputees. His innovations are not mere incremental improvements on existing designs. They represent a fundamental rethinking of how artificial limbs can integrate with the human body. David Gathu and Moses Prosthetics are known for their intuitive control. Lightweight yet incredibly durable materials derived from local resources and an affordability that puts them within reach of those who need them most, particularly in developing nations. He's not just building limbs, he is restoring dignity and transforming lives on an unprecedented scale. Simon's synthesis, the dream of seamless communication realized. The quest for a truly unified communication device, one that seamlessly integrates all forms of digital interaction into a single intuitive interface, has long been a holy grail for tech developers. Now, an inventor known simply as Simon, working from an unassuming workshop in an African nation, appears to have achieved it. His seamless phone is more than just a smartphone, it's a personal communication hub that consolidates calls, texts, emails, social media, video conferencing, and into one fluid, effortlessly manageable experience. The user interface is said to be revolutionary, adapting to the user's needs and context with uncanny intelligence. Imagine a device that anticipates your communication needs, that presents information not as a cluttered series of apps, but as a unified stream of relevant data. Simon's invention reportedly uses a new type of operating system built from the ground up that prioritizes integration and ease of use above all else. Holographic Horizons, a Nigerian lady visionary reshapes reality. From Nigeria emerges a technological leap that seems torn from the pages of advanced science fiction, a fully holographic smartphone developed by a brilliant yet hitherto unknown woman. This device doesn't just project images onto a flat screen, it generates stable, interactive three-dimensional holograms in mid-air. Coupled with an advanced voice command system that understands natural language with remarkable accuracy, it offers an entirely new way of interacting with digital information and with each other. Imagine holographic video calls where the person you're speaking to appears as a life-size three-dimensional projection in your room. This inventor, whose name is currently being protected for security reasons, has reportedly solved many of the critical challenges that have stymied holographic development elsewhere, power consumption, projection stability, and interactive responsiveness. Her device is said to be compact, elegant, and surprisingly energy efficient. The applications are limitless, from immersive education and entertainment to revolutionary design and engineering tools to remote medical consultations with a tangible sense of presence. Africa's ascent, the new technological dawn and global reckoning. The emergence of these extraordinary technologies from Africa the Maxwell self-powered phone, Tabizo's water-powered car, David Gathu advanced prosthetics, Simon's seamless communicator, and Nigeria's holographic smartphone is not a series of isolated incidents. It is a pattern. It signals a profound shift in the global technological landscape. It's a monumental footprint of what has been destroyed before in our world that is now re-emerging in the most bizarre, uncanny, striking resemblance of the Tartarian civilization hits hard. Here is the kicker. Most of this genius are self-thought inventors. A lot of them are school dropout out, creating technology from scrap materials without billions laboratory facilities. Africa, for so long portrayed as a continent in need of aid, is rapidly repositioning itself as a source of foundational innovation, a new hub of disruptive and transformative technology. This ascent is not happening in a vacuum. It resonates deeply with the rediscovery of Tartaria and its suppressed legacy. This African technological renaissance challenges the very core of the established world order. Western politicians and the power structures they represent have long benefited from controlling the narrative of technological progress and by extension global economic and cultural influence. 
The idea that a continent they have historically exploited and underestimated could now leapfrog them with sustainable paradigm-shattering inventions is, to put it mildly, unsettling for them. Their fear is palpable.